Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is the Gopher 12 messenger bag from Vanquest. As you can see, I've got it in multicam black. I've had this for about a, a month or so, and I've been using it as my everyday carry bag for work. So I've got my laptop and some other gear in here. Um, as is true with all the Vanquest gear I've ever used, high quality, um, just a lot of functionality, a lot of storage and organization. Let's work through the details on this, show you all the different pockets, and then you could see if it fits in, into your uh, everyday carry systems, maybe it'll become a work bag for you. I will let you know that I do have some other messenger bags. I also have the larger version of this, which I believe is like the Gopher 18 maybe, I'll double check that. Um, but this one's been good for me up to this point, and then I wanna try that other one to see if a larger bag would be even better for me. But like I said, let's work through the details and uh, then you can figure out if this might be an investment you wanna make. All right, so we'll start with the front of the bag. You can see you have two zippers here. Now these are not gonna be um, very deep as far as like your width. They do go all the way down to the bottom of the, um, of the bag here. You can see I've got a, um, this is just like a CRKT, um, like a PR kit, but I basically use it as my um, carry around USB cord. And then I've got this pocket as well, where I've got some literature. And so, but basically gotta be flat things that you have in these front two pockets. You can see we do have hook and loop here. Hook and loop if you want to put an ID patch or morale patches. You do have two grab handles on top. You have one here and one here as well. So you can put your hands through both or obviously you can just grab one or the other. This one is more centered. This one leans a little bit more toward the front. So let me open this up and I'll show you what we've got inside here. So we do have two buckles and then you can see we've got covered up hook and loop here. Now the reason that's there is that you can uh, take off these basically covers and that'll attach to these hook and loop panels here So if you just want to throw this over and not click it, it'll still be locked in without actually having the uh, QD buckles Buckled in but that's kind of how you set it up and open it up in this front section You can see we've got a pocket here and a pocket here and here. I've got all my Medical gear some uh, you know, so I got a SWAT tourniquet. I've got some medications band-aid stuff like that So that's in this pocket down in here you can see we've got a zippered pocket across the front here where you can put some gear down inside. For here, I've got a little VanQuest um, wallet with some ID cards and business cards. And then I've got some extra everyday tactical vids pouches. High vis orange in there, as you can see as well. We've also got this full zipper across the front with high vis orange inside. And this is something that could accept a hook and loop, you know, basically Velcro attached organizational um, kind of card. So you can put little pockets and little organizers in here is on the back side as well you can also see in the front we've got some organization so I've got a couple pens I got a sharpie um, a tactical pen I've got my um, Leatherman multi-tool there as well I don't know if you can see it on the side but this thing kind of expands out too so it can get a little bit thicker now one thing for me is that with a messenger bag I love having my gear organized but if it gets too thick it starts to get clunky like if it's thick this way so I like to keep things kind of streamlined and slim as, much, slim as much as I can. Let's go into the front section here. So I've got a book. I've got an um, external hard drive. Over on this side, I've got an organizational pouch they sent me, which is this right here. So you could put this into this inner panel I just showed you. There is basically on the back side here, hook and loop as well as this massive plane flies over. All right, so here you can see this little organizational pouch. Uh, this unzips to get inside but also you've got this zipper over here, which basically can expand the thickness, kind of like a suitcase when you kind of compress it down. But now if I unzip that, you can see you can get much wider like this. Now, the reality is, unless you had, if you don't have a laptop in here, you could probably put a lot of gear in there. But since you have a, I have a laptop in here, I can't make it super thick. So that's why I put the gear in and then basically just zip this guy down so it's much more compact. And then you can see here on the back, you got that Velcro so you can attach it. I mean, you could just stick it there if you wanted to, but that's a little bit clumsy. So this is where I keep all my cords and electronic thing, electronic cords, earbuds, stuff like that for work. Back into this main section, you can see I've got a manila full, or I am, um, yeah, is that manila? Anyhow, it's a folder. And then I've got my laptop. This is a uh, Mac Air, so it's 13 inches. You can see down inside, we've got um, it can receive all kind of organizational, you know, pouches like I showed you on this side and on this side as well. There's a look down in real quick. So you can also see we've got a pocket here and a pocket here to put gear. 
This is sewn together, so you can't put something full size in there. And then you do have this, which is basically your um, your controls, so that if you put a laptop back in here, you know it's not going to fall out. So in the back here, I've got my journal and my Bible as well. And you can see down in here, more high high vis orange. Uh, not to receive hook and loop though, so there's nothing Velcro inside. They're just very smooth. And this is definitely a smaller pocket, so you can fit a tablet in there, tablet in there, but not a uh, not a full size laptop or even like a smaller laptop, unless it's really small. All right, so here it is folded over again. You can also see we have a pass through that'll take you right into the main section of the bag, so that's accessible that way. Going to the sides, we've got a pocket here. You can see I've got a, a flashlight in here. It's a little bit off kilter there. I'll show you real quick. This is my what is my through night. TT20 right there. Um, you can put your water bottle in here and then you've got a retention cord that you can put around it as well. You can totally take off the shoulder strap if you want and just carry it like kind of sort of like a briefcase. So there's one on this side. This is neoprene. So this will stretch a little bit. And same thing on this side as well. You can see I've got a pocket knife there and I've got a, a like an anchor battery down here, just like a backup battery, but same system. You're going to put your water bottle, water bottle in and then you put this around the top so it stays nice and secure in place. Moving to the back here, we've got another larger pocket. So you can put gear down in here, hook and loop on this side and then smooth on this side. So you could put your CCW in there if you want. Small pocket here to put some gear in. And then this is also a pass through. So you could put it over your suitcase if you're walking through the airport. And then it does come with the uh, attachment basically to make it a three-point system instead of just a messenger bag you throw over your shoulder. So it basically gives you retention across your chest down to your hip. So that's what that looks like. I'll show you the bottom real quick here. You do have this uh, retention system. So you've got some um, molly there so you can attach gear and then you could like slide a coat under here and then cinch it down. You do have these, uh, these are already kind of under control because they've got the little hook and loop controllers but you can expand this as much as you want or um, basically cinch it down as tight as you want. So that's what the bottom looks like. And it is squared off. This is a little bit thicker down here. So when it rests, it's nice and like basically rests in place without kind of falling over on itself. So here's a quick look at your shoulder strap. As you can see, you can take it off with the hook and loop and set it up for like right or left shoulder carry. I mentioned before that you can remove it down here if you want to do that. And then also you can see there's some padding here with the kind of air holes, so it should be breathable. And then this is kind of a grippy material. It is, uh, this section is basically the equivalent of seatbelt. So smooth, but very strong material. Here's a quick look at the bag actually on my shoulder. You know, and I would rock it like this, kind of on my side, moving toward my back a little bit. Carry it like that. And then certainly if you want to get your gear out, you can swing it around front. And also if you have a CCW, obviously you can swing this around and then open up here. And this is right up against your body. So it's going to be nice and safe. No one's going to have access to it as long as the bag's not floating way out, out there. Um, like I said, you can use that. Let me grab this right here real quick. The three point system if you want to. And set this up so that basically it's riding like this and like this and then back around your back. I just find it right now, it's just, it's not, I don't need it at all. If I'm using a messenger bag like this, I, I prefer just to have the two point system. If I have a, a bag on my back, a sling bag, sometimes I like this, but this is just excess for me right now. So I just run it like this, put it on my side, carry it like this, get into work, take it off like so. So there's a look at the bag. All right, so there's a look at the bag. What I'm gonna do now is just roll in some additional information here as far as your weight and dimensions for different pockets and things like that. So just take a look at the bottom while I'm kind of sharing my thoughts. So like I said, I've EDC this for the better part of a month, probably over a month, I would say. Um, this is like just the right size for me. Um, holds my laptop, holds a couple books, holds my electronic gear, some medical gear, multi-tool, stuff like that. So if you're looking to carry what I carry plus a bunch more, go for a larger bag. Like I said, uh, Vanquist has some additional bags you may want to switch to. Um, this is, I, I would say it's not for somebody who's like a total minimalist, but you're like, you know, if this is like carry a ton of gear, minimalist, and this is the middle, it kind of like, it leans a little bit this way, right? So you don't carry a ton of extra gear. This could be a bag you want to check out. Um, I like the black multicam. A lot of the stuff I get from MacQuest is in black multicam. So like I shared, I think it's the Gopher 18. It's a larger one. I'm going to check that one out as well. I think, you know, for what I carry, that might be a little bit on the bigger side. So, you know, the, the 12 to the 18, I want something kind of right in the middle. And again, I'm trying to do that num those numbers by memory. I know this is the 12. I think the other one's the 18. 
um, build, style, look, how it feels when you carry it. I mean, this, this is a win across the board if you're looking for a messenger bag. I found this one has a lot of pockets that if you carry thinner items or slimmer items, there's a lot of places to like slide things down. And if you carry a lot of thick items, you know, that are like, say this is the bag against your body, it's gonna run deep out this way, then it, the bag's gonna get kind of fat really thick. If you are fat really soon, it's gonna get kind of deep on you and be sticking out far from your body. For me, that's just a pet peeve of mine with messenger bags. If they're on my shoulder and they're sticking out really far away from my body, I just feel like it's way out there, it's clumsy, I'm kind of swinging around and bumping into stuff. So I like stuff to be pretty streamlined up against my body and this uh, this bag offers that, especially like I said, if you have things you can kind of slide into pockets like that. The strap is comfortable uh, for the size of the bag and the weight of the bag, it works fine for me. If you start really packing the bag with a ton of stuff, I think, um, it's just gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a lot of weight on your shoulder. So I would start using that three-point system if I were you just to kind of balance it out so it's not shaking bugs out here. So it's not shaking and moving around as much. Now I'm not the type of guy who wants to pop off the shoulder strap and just carry it as a briefcase. That's just not my style. Um, but like I said, you can do it. I do think um, if I did that on a regular basis, unless you're very you know, kind of minimalist, that's gonna get heavy. Um, the handles are comfortable. They're made of that uh, material that they make seat belts out of. So it's smooth, even though it's strong webbing. Um, and it's a little bit thicker. It's not. It's it's not as thin as a seatbelt. It's thicker than that. But it's still. It's going to be just kind of awkward. I think just to carry in hand. So I would definitely encourage you to use the strap, um, if you uh, if you're going to use this bag at all. I just think it's it's built to function best like that. I think a win that could go unnoticed is that it has water bottle holders and two of them. That is just a huge win. Um, sometimes you get a great bag. You're like this is awesome, but I got no place to put my water bottle. Like I said, overall, uh, build, function, all those things have been really good. Um, I generally prefer messenger bags or a sling bag that's going to rest on my back as opposed to a backpack. So this thing is a win for me. They do have some other messenger bags that I've liked. I think probably this is my favorite messenger bag I've used so far. And when I get, try out the larger size too, uh, we'll see what we think about that. But I think this is my favorite messenger bag I've used from these guys so far. Um, I think it was called the Envoy. It was like a messenger bag that you could like use like legit as a messenger, like in a city on a bike, taking things around. Um, and that one was great. It was just, I feel like it was, there was so much functionality to it. I wasn't gonna use it all and it just could store a ton and I didn't carry that much. Um, I really like that one, but I think this one's gonna be the top messenger bag I've used from Vanquest so far. So those are some thoughts. You've seen the details as far as the review. You've seen some of the specs here. <sighs> Mosquitoes. Details, specs, um, you've seen some images. Let's hear your thoughts on it. Uh, if you own Vanquest gear, you probably like Vanquest gear because they make great gear. Um, what would you change? What would you add? Uh, price point for this one is about 185 and you're gonna save probably 10 or 15 bucks if you get one of the other colors that are available as well. So it's definitely a cry once, buy once type situation that you're gonna have this for a long, long time. And Vanquest does have very good customer service. I will let you know that. So um, thoughts, feedback, ideas? Let's hear that in the comment section and let's get that discussion started now. All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.